you guys, welcome to episode 15 of our Siege Guidelines playthrough. Last week we left it where we were just upgrading our water in and our water out with the water treatment plants. And we continue that this week with building a third water treatment plant. Okay, I'm going to build another one of these. Connect it up. You can see that's dropped now, the water availability at the top, because that's how we reduced the budget. But that looks like it's been reduced about right. Bottom bar, so it's treatment in a set once this is online. Should jump up around somewhere to match it. Uh, it's gone up to loads. So we can probably build another water coming in plant and then reduce the budget further. So let's try the budget on the lowest one at 50%. Might need to go up from there. But this is cheaper for you, it saves you a ton of cash. You play around with those budget settings just to get it right. The set you can still run okay, and it saves you a load of money. Now I've got 22,000 residents. These idiots. Okay, I'm going to delete these buildings and you can start again. Education system. Maybe they're just not educated enough. Can't afford schools yet. Oh, there's lots of reds. What's the school availability there, look? So we haven't got enough availability for schools, so that's perhaps why people aren't going to the doctor and stuff. They don't realise that we haven't educated them enough. Oh, the water, not water availability, look. So you have to play with it a little bit. There we go, we've got the budget back within uh, the right range. Setting <laughs> Hydro Dam. Hydro, is it Hydro Dam? Yeah, so you can see like the, how fast the wall's travelling, the smaller and more arrows, it's travelling faster. And another fire in an area, no power, no water, it's just, <laughs> it's crazy. Hoping soon maybe to take a loan or something. Just paid one back and it's done, that's gone, so we'll earn more money because no interest. Or maybe build this dam, this power, hydro dam. Higher spreading. What's happening with the water system? The city's catching fire so often now. I'm not even going to stay and watch it. What's wrong with you guys? Go to the doctors. Education. Gosh, you really need two schools that close to each other in such a small area. Okay, look, there's a uh, subway right there. There's a school right by the subway. Let's give that area more of a scratch. Oh, are, these, are, you, are you full? Are you full school? Maybe I've got to put them closer together then, I guess. That's the thing, as, uh, as the city was growing again and more dense population you need more of everything more schools healthcare police perhaps not police so much at the moment but it'll pop up at some point elementary school availability this week i need uh what is it 10 grand yeah i've got 10 grand okay let's put this bad boy in somewhere uh, let's see okay let's see We've got a high school up in this area now. We've got uh, three down this end. And we've just built another one here. Hopefully that's going to help any sort of situation. Maybe I should have, uh, I could have done power. I think schools are more important than a small corner of the city needing a bit of power. There we are, so just coloured in that area over here. More residential, some more commercial. So stand down the bottom right, we need commercial. We'll get this area sorted. I really need, let's take out a loan. So we got 200, like 13 grand. <laughs> we do need power and I'm not gonna continuously keep building those, those inadequate wind things. I do love them. I'm all about the environment. Oh, I can get like 400 megawatts out of a, a dam, 
that's just as environmentally friendly. We're going to do that. That means we're going to get rid of these ones. They're the really basic crappy ones that are noisy and people hate them. Quite a while, we can really lower our uh, our electricity budget. So that was the estimated power. What we're we actually going to get out of it once it once it builds up. The water in this game is brilliant, guys. It's it's fantastic. I only swore then. <laughs> it's it's really realistic and fantastic. If you start moving the land and playing around with the land, lowering it or raising it, it will affect the water and the way it moves. It takes a few seconds and then it starts affecting it. And if it's close to your city, you can easily start flooding a big portion of your city and have to try and build barriers, flood barriers and stuff. So you can build flood barriers. Where are they? So they're called, they're called flood walls and you could just, I'm not going to build it, but you can basically put them like that. But obviously that's ugly. A much nicer thing I prefer to do is um, is build a key. You might see it spelt like Kwai or it's pronounced key. And I'll have to move those out of the way and put them up here. But you see it creates like a, a nice, a really nice edge. And when I start building close to the edge, like that's what I normally do. I forget, I always forget to do it. Like over here. This looks just a bit messed up, but still we can do with it, if anything. Oh yeah, that's tidy now, I think. Yeah, 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 that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, that's okay. It's, it tidies it up so much. Out of bounds. Oh yes. <laughs> Get away with it like that. See, I should have done it. I'm gonna, I will move these dudes at some point. But not right now. Yeah, and this little pool of water here would look wicked with a whole wall around it. Wouldn't it, guys? That's right, it would. That's it. Put your comments in. Tell us what you love. Like all the other comments we've been getting on this. I'm just building it my way. My way or the highway. Height too high. No such thing. No such thing as too high. Come on. Height too high. Yeah, well, go away. Try something else. Get one big longer one that would work. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like the docks at Southampton. Doesn't it, eh? Why aren't you shoreline, shoreline required? What would you call that then? Yeah, don't that look better? Oh, well, that was a big waste of cash. What's going on? Maybe it's, uh, it's still building up.
So while university has tons of availability, but uh, yeah, as you can see, the red areas. Yeah, if we built our second university here, see how well it does. It's got it. I mean, see the availability is just great. Um, but obviously, the up around the area. See, if we can change some policies, maybe. School there, move this one. In this corner, there, there. there we go. 34 Grand High School. We need to get the citizens educated, this is ridiculous. Another high school there. Reduce the stress on the one up there because we've got one here as well. So yeah, the white line that was going up to uh, Cozy Hills and Thornton Square up here it was just one bus line. And it was just too, too busy. It's still hundreds of people, like 600 people at one of the stops. So I've added two more bus lanes and uh, we'll go in and try and adjust them and up them and stuff. I mean, this stop here, guys, it's got like 691. If you look at it, my God, I don't think I've ever seen it that bad. 691 people at that bus stop. There's a metro line there, guys. Go get the metro. Why, why the bus? Up my prices, obviously. Car trip saves 7.32%. Uh, so we're hoping the other two bus lines are actually going to help this out a lot. I've got, I've got 14 buses, so this is going to be packed coming out of here. Look at that. Oh dear, oh my god! Holy shit! Ah! Beep, 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 beep. You know, if this was the US, they'd all be beeping. If it was the UK, they'd all just be sat there annoyed in their cab, saying stuff under their breath about the other drivers. Oh, look at him, Marie. Come, on, come on, get out of the way, for God's sake. We might be, maybe, but we wouldn't all sit there beeping. No way. That's wicked. I love all the colours and that. That's just wicked. I love that. We're all just going to mesh into each other. We are one. The bus has become one. We are one bus. Look at that. Excuse me, I'm just going to push, I'm just going to nudge my way in here. Excuse me, excuse me. Rent a bus coming through. Yeah, well, we're a coach company. We're better than you. No, we're not. We're blue bus coach. We're better than you. Yeah, well, we're green crappy buses. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, we're going to make this new uh, weird shaped bus. Like an egg timer. Yeah. Look at that. Two cabs, two drivers. Only problem is, it goes in two different directions as they try and pull away. Splits in half. Come on, another one there. Come on, they're going to be late for work. I love this. Yes, there we go. Look at that. That's just going to get freed right up now. A little bit. <laughs> you get your indicator on, guys. Hopefully, everyone knows where each other's going. No worse than an airport. It will clear up, it will sort itself out. Once these guys stop coming out of here, these buses will get on their routes, then these guys get back on their routes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a nice trap. Thanks for tuning in for episode 15. Stay tuned for episode 16 next week, guys. Plus, keep an eye on the channel. We've just appointed a new head of creative design, so a lot of our thumbnails and intros are going to be updated quite a bit over the next few weeks.